I now request the distinguished delegate of UAE to make a statement. Thank you, Madam President. Madam President, I congratulate you for being elected as President of UN General Assembly. We are all aware of the incidents of violence and terrorism, which have taken all unprecedented forms and used heinous methods, causing fear and terror, not only in Middle East, but in many countries of the world. It has turned to be a threat against human civilization. Extremists and terrorist groups spread violence and hatred among nations, making terrorism no longer associated with a certain state, a region, but a global threat with no borders. United Arab Emirates is deeply concerned by the escalating tension and violence resulting from the terrorist acts committed by elements deliberately aiming at destabilizing the region and undermining the security. As recent events suggest, terrorist groups have grown in terms of power and finance, which results in thousands of death and destruction of human culture and value. Extremist groups like Daesh, Al-Qaeda, Hezbollah, IS, and other groups are exploiting religion for political purpose, and we condemn the methods of these groups in the name of Islam. They have no connection with the tolerant teachings of Islam, which calls for peaceful coexistence and acceptance of others. Mr. President, it is a time for all the nations to join together to form appropriate solutions that address the causes of this crisis and uproot terrorism in all its forms. It can be achieved if the international community demonstrates goodwill and political determination to resolve it. Mr. President, in this regard, I would like to address the plight and suffering of the Palestinian people, which is nearing its seventh decade. We in the UAE are concerned about the violence in the occupied Palestinian ter ter territory and the absence of a just solution that returned to Palestinian people their inalienable rights. Interference in the affairs of states and non-respect for the sovereignty of states are also to be addressed. We strongly condemn the active interference of Iran in the internal affairs of Arab states, including Syria and Yemen. In addition to developing solutions based on justice and law, no role should be given to any extremist, terrorist, or evil groups. In this regard, UA has placed prevention in the center of its policies and adopted measures to prevent extremism from developing into violent extremism. Protecting peace and stability in our society requires us to expose the lies of extremist and terrorist groups. In this regard, UAE is cooperating with United States of America through Zabab Center on combating message spread by the Daesh group. The Elders Council of Muslims in Abu Dhabi also works on advocating the true face of Islam. The enactment of counter-terrorism laws, national legislation, and accession to international treaties are crucial in our fight against extremism and terrorism. Mr. President, the UAE continued to stress the need to develop a comprehensive convention on international terrorism that include an international definition for terrorism. The UAE once again affirms its deep belief in value, justice, international law, and human rights, and emphasizes our support for regional and global efforts aiming at development, justice, and stability. Thank you. I thank the distinguished delegate of UAE.